What's up, y'all? Today I'm going to be talking about what I think the Cowboys should do this offseason to improve their chances of going to the Super Bowl next year. It won't happen, but let's just show you how happened to it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to re-sign Dolan Schultz because this dude's a playmaker, one of the best tight ends in the league. He had over 700 yards this season of... And also, if, uh, if any of the other receivers were, like, well-guarded, he would always, Dak Prescott would always throw to Don Schultz, so we have to sign uh, Don Schultz back to a deal. So, uh, yeah, that's the first thing I would do. Let's get him done, and, you uh, know, let's continue. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to re-sign Randy Gregory to help out our defensive line. That defensive line is nasty. And when Randy Gregory was hurt, it really hurt at our, you know, run game and pass, uh, run game and, you know, pass rush. Because Randy Gregory is a game changer. Um, one of the most underrated, you know, edge rushers. I think this guy could potentially be a star in the NFL one day. So we have to re-sign him to a contract. And that's the next thing I would do. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to re-sign J-Ron Curse. This dude's a monster of a safety. Um, he's really a run support safety, and I think he's underrated. He's really good against, like, tight ends. He limited, you know, George Kittle to only a certain amount of yards, and I think J-Ron Curse is absolutely underrated. Um, you know, I think the Cowboys should definitely re-sign him to a deal and, you know, help out the safeties. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to re-sign Leighton Vanderish. I think this dude's a playmaker sometimes. I know he's kind of mediocre, but I'm going to actually re-sign him to a one more year deal and see where we go in the next off season. But this dude's, in, you know, he made some good plays. I think, you know, he's did a lot better this year than the last two previous years. And I think, um, you know, we should re-sign him to, a, you know, a cheap deal. And, you know, see, uh, draft a replacement in this draft. And, yes, yeah, I think that's a good idea. So, last re-signing I'm going to do is I'm going to re-sign Brian Anger, our punter. Because this dude's an absolute, you know, great punter. I know that's kind of weird to say, but I think this dude's, you know, has a chance at being one of the best punters in the league. He got voted to the Pro Bowl this year. Um, definitely one of the best, um... Why not resign him to like a one year deal? Because when you're in a critical moment and you need to punt the ball and you get inside like the 10 or 20, I'm putting this guy on there and I think this dude can do good. So, those are the resigns I'm going to do. So, next topic, I'm going to talk about the things I'm going to do like trades and cuts and, you know, not going to resign and stuff like that. Okay, let's get this one out the way. We're not going to re-sign Connor Williams. I'm letting him walk in free agency. I don't think he's good at all. He had the most holding calls this year. I don't think he's good at all. The backup's way better. And uh, that's one thing. I know I think we're, I, I just think we should just, you know, not re-sign him. He's not that good at all. And, yeah, I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. If I'm Jerry Jones, if he does it, um, does not re-sign Connor Williams. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to release Greg Zerlin. I don't think he's good like he was in 2018 or whatever when he was with the Rams. He had a good year actually last year with the Cowboys, but this year was one of the most worst years. He cost us like 17 points, um, you know, and I think he's not good anymore. So I'm going to re- release him. And I don't think he's good at all. And that's the second thing I'm going to do. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to re-sign Keanu Neal. He didn't live up to the expectations. Um, I think he only had one sack. He did actually did decent tackles, but I don't think he's that good. Um, He was decent, actually. I mean, he played linebacker, which we kind of need help on. I'm not going to re-sign him. I'm going to pass up on him and, you know... He was good, or decent, he would say, so I would pass up on him and see who we else. There's plenty of other good free agents out there, so I would pass up on him. Um, and next, Michael Gallup. Um, I'm not going to re-sign him. I don't think he's even going to come back. I don't think we have the money for him. Um, he was a great receiver and all, but he didn't really play much last season, well, this season. Towards ACL against the Cardinals, and I'm going to pass up on him. I think we're going to actually draft someone or get someone in the draft. Um, 
some free agent or something to get his replacement, but I'm not going to really sign Gallup. Next thing I'm going to do is to low Collins. I'm going to release him or trade him. I don't think he's the same player. Plus, the backup's are way better. Terrence Steele a lot better than Lowell Collins. I'm going to trade him maybe for some draft picks. Um, then, Or I would release him after June 1st to save a lot of money. So that's the thing I would do to Lowell Collins. And, yeah. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reconstruct your Tyrant Smith's contract or potentially trade him or release him. I really want to reconstruct for this guy's contract. He hasn't played. Still an elite left tackle. I think he's still got left in the tank. A lot of left in the tank. It's just injuries, injuries, injuries. He at least... He only plays like 60% of the season. I would reconstruct his contract to save money. And yeah, I think that's the thing I would do to sign more free agents or get someone to help. Next thing I'm going to talk about is the roster moves I want to do. And then after that, we'll get to the free agent signings and stuff like that. So what I mean by roster moves is like who I want to start and, you know, change rosters, spots and stuff. So yeah. First thing I'm going to do is is I'm going to make Tony Pollard the starting running back. Or at least give him more playing time than Zeke. I think that's kind of the obvious answer here. I think Tony Pollard's a lot better than Zeke. I know Zeke played on like a tour PC or whatever. But I'm going to put Tony Pollard in more. I want this guy to get more action. And uh, that's the thing I would do. Let's get that out the way. And I want more action from Tony Pollard. Next move I'm going to do is give him a leak turner, more playing time. I think he's a lot better than Cedric Wilson. Uh, if you don't know who Malik Turner is, most of you guys don't know. He's a receiver, number five on the Cowboys. But when Cedric Wilson was out, Malik Turner ended up playing. He actually did a really good job. A lot of people wouldn't expect. I'm giving Malik Turner a little bit more playing time. I want more action from this guy. I think he could come up with some big plays. I think he's really quick, too. And I think he, you know, I'm going to give him more playing time. I think Malik Turner can do something. So that's the first thing I would, uh, well, you know, second thing I would do. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put Kelvin Joseph in that corner number two of Trayvon Diggs at corner number one. Kelvin Joseph came back, I think, in week, I don't know, nine. I think he had a tour groin and preseason came back. And at first, the last few games, he did amazing. Uh, he locked up. A lot of good corner uh, receivers. I know he, you know, got kind of, you know, burnt by Devontae Smith against the Eagles in the last game of the season, but that was the last game. I think he's still good. No, he's a rookie, but Kelvin Joseph needs to get more playing time than Anthony Brown. I think he's going to do a lot better than Anthony Brown, so I would give Kelvin Joseph more playing time. And yeah, that's the third thing I would do. Now I'm going to be talking about the free agent signings I want to happen. We need safety help, so how about we sign some of these guys? Tyron Matthew. Marcus May from the Jets. Marcus Williams from the Saints. And Jesse Bates from the Bengals. We need corner help. Maybe a veteran that can help us out to give mentorship to our young guys. So how about we could sign Stephon Gilmore from the Panthers. Xavier Rhodes from the Colts. This is underrated. I think this guy can do something. So how about we sign him, maybe. Richard Sherman from the Buccaneers. This can help us significantly. Um, We can move him to safety. He played safety when he was with Tampa Bay. And I think this guy still has a little bit more. Gives us our mentorship. So how about we sign Richard Sherman to a cheap deal? How about some trade targets we can actually trade for potentially? First one, I'm going to give it to Quinn Williams from the Jets. We need to run support help, so I think Quinn Williams would be a great addition. How about we bring a hefty veteran from the Steelers, Joe Hayden, the cornerback. I think this guy he still has a lot left in the tank like the others. Brings mentorship, and he's still a good ball player. So I'll definitely try to trade for Joe Hayden if it's possible. Oh, this is going to be hard to bring up again. This has been talked about for years. But how about Earl Thomas potentially coming to Dallas? Uh, this dude hasn't played in two years ever since with the Ravens. 
Um, I believe this guy, uh, we haven't seen much from him. You know, the last time we heard about him was going back to the, was going to the Texans. Um, I mean, there's really not much we can really do about Earl Thomas. I mean, if he comes to Dallas, I'll be kind of happy because I think he's still kind of a decent player. So how about we bring him? He hasn't retired yet. He's still a free agent, so... This is just an idea. I don't think it's going to happen, but, you know, it's fun to think about. Last free agent I would actually try to sign is Des Bryant. If no one comes, like, receivers-wise, and we just need a choice, and we don't really draft a good receiver, bring Des Bryant back. I mean, he's probably not – we're probably not going to sign him, but this is just just an idea. I mean, I think it would be pretty badass to have him back. I mean, this dude's still probably a great ball player. I mean, he did decent with the Ravens. So I definitely try to bring him back. How about we bring OBJ to Dallas? I mean, this would be crazy to think about. Because if we don't resign really sign Michael Gallup, I think OBJ would be an obvious option here. I mean, I think this guy's pretty solid. Um, and yeah, I think this guy can, you know, bring, you know, help us to a Super Bowl potentially. I think Odell Beckham Jr. still has a lot. He's underrated in my opinion. So I'll try to bring him. Next topic is the draft and who the five players I really want from the draft. Let's start. First option, Cam Von Green from Texas A&M. This is what they've asked guard in the draft. And how about we draft a replacement from Connor Williams? Because this dude's an absolute beast. Only allowed one sack. Or a few sacks. I can't remember. I don't really watch college football. But I do actually watch film on some college prospects. This is an obvious pick. I think this guy has a good chance. I think this guy is a good player. You know. So if this is the fifth option. This is number five who I want. So yeah. Coming at number four. Jameson Williams. The receiver from Alabama. If we don't sign a free agent receiver, I'm definitely going to try to go after this guy in the second round, potentially. Jameson Williams from Alabama. I think he's a really solid receiver coming into this draft. Um, I think he might be gone by the start of round one. I mean, the uh, start of round two, I'm sorry. Or, you know, later um, later in round one. That's what I meant to say. But I think this guy is an obvious pick. If we don't re- really sign a receiver, I'm going with Jamison Williams. Number three, Jordan Davis from Georgia. There's going to be two more Georgia players. Georgia had the best defense, in my opinion, in college football. If its defense is loaded of talent. And I think Jordan Davis would be a great addition in from the draft because this dude's an absolute beast. Of a defensive tackle, really good in the run. I think he's decent in the pass, but really good in the run. He's a bigger guy, and I think this, you know, it would help out us a lot. So I would definitely try to get him. Second, um, I want Trayvon Walker from Alabama. This is an absolute beast off the edge, and I think this guy has potential. Um, if we don't re-sign Randy Gregory, I think we should definitely try to go after Trayvon Walker. This is an absolute, he's quick too. I think Alabama had a just amazing defense. And this dude was a key contributor to that defense. And I think we should definitely try to go after him if he's there. And then we don't draft Randy Gregory. But if we, I mean, re-sign Randy Gregory. Um, But if we do, I definitely would try to draft Trayvon Walker. And the player I really want in this draft is Kobe Dean, a linebacker. Um, I think he would be great with Lynn Van Der Esch. Jabril Cox, um, and Micah Parsons. This dude's an absolute beast. I think he was the best player on that Georgia defense, in my opinion. And then stats, he was. Uh, this dude, we're definitely, if he falls, I'm definitely drafting the Kobe Dean with that 24th overall pick. So that's what I think. And that's what I think with the Cowboys should do this offseason. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Consider liking. Consider turning on the notification bell. I upload a couple times a week. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day.